We met in a bar. Uh, some friends introduced us. She was a little bit in the bag when I met her. That's which, not true. Which increased my chances tenfold. It's not true. I can hold my liquor. He thought he looked real cool, and he did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I made an entrance. And we ended up back in my house mixing cocktails until about 6 in the morning when she had to leave. I had a flight at 6 a.m. that I didn't make. And <laughs> 13 <laughs> years later, it all worked out. A couple years later, I was doing a film in the Hudson Valley, and we felt very much at home from the jump. And when we were given the opportunity to team up with other local businesses, with Vail Fox Distillery, with Harney and Sons Tea, that was really important to us because we want our fan base and for people everywhere in the world to be able to experience the craftsmanship of the Hudson Valley. A very like-minded people here in the Hudson Valley. It was such a natural fit uh, in, in every way and still very mischievous, which is super cool. Um, it's good to have friends to get into trouble with. Yeah. Our first introduction to Vail Fox was actually during the pandemic, and they reached out and said, hey, we're making hand sanitizer at our distillery. Can we team up and like get it into the right hands? And we loved that there was a, another local business that was trying to take care of our community. And once we came over here, it, there was such a, um, it was so easy and such a natural connection. It felt like a satellite home. When we <clears throat> were talking about doing uh, libations for the first time, uh, the bonfire thing was, was something we all kind of latched onto. So I got to taste bonfire for the first time, and it was sensational. <laughs> Lopsong Shushong uh, is a tea from China that uh, was the first black tea, by the way, in the history of the goddamn world. <laughs> Our rye is seeped in that for 30 minutes, um, which gives it this very distinct flavor. Jeff's deal when he comes home is that he chops firewood for good six hours a day and then lights fires everywhere on our property. Yeah, there's a fire going at our house 24 hours a day. Even generally generally outside, uh, for sure inside. Um, mm -hmm. You'll get a smoky aftertaste that is unlike anything you've ever had before. It's a party. It is a party. I'm the gardener at Mischief Farm and blackberries are the thing that I grow. And they already have an award-winning kick-ass gin. Their gin is my favorite, and so it made perfect sense to team up with them to make our blackberry gin. Our friends here at Bill Fox knew that that was my favorite thing to grow on the property. It makes it floral, it makes it the perfect thing to put in any mixed drink, and it's also so pretty <laughs> that it makes every mixed drink better. The label is all done in Jeffrey's handwriting. She we wanted people to feel like they were getting something directly from us. And so it was important that we didn't do some big, fancy, goofy label. This is a note from us to you guys at home. This is Mr. Fun. Putting a product out into the world from the two of us is a natural fit. And if anything... Well, it's something we both are real passionate about, too. So it's cool that you can have a partner that you know, again, is on the same page and shares the same passion, and this is just another example of, of that. Hey, here's to MF Libation. MF Libation. Here's to Mischief.